Hey everybody, it is Wilkins Fan Anyone here and welcome back to What's in a Name, my little series where I talk about how I named some of my webkins. Just like the last episode, I have three webkins that I'm going to talk about. Their names are all inspired by some sort of fictional character. Um, they're not like super interesting, but I just grabbed them because I thought it would be fun to talk about like where their names came from and how my mind connected that to these webkins. I'm going to start off with the Rockers raccoon her name is lisbeth because um well i named her after lisbeth salander from the girl with the dragon tattoo i was super obsessed with this movie once and the reason that i named this particular webkins lisbeth is mostly because of her very like punk look and how it reminds me of Lisbeth. The mohawk hair reminds me of her. Um, she's got a piercing in her ear. Like that's really the only piercing she has because how are you going to do like nose piercings or eyebrow piercings on a webkins? I mean I suppose you could. She's technically glam rock. I don't think Lisbeth Salerno would be glam rock if she was a musician. Uh, but it's as close as we're going to get to something very punk rocky in the webkins world. So that's where her name came from. And when I talk about Elizabeth Slander, I'm specifically talking about the Rooney Mara uh, uh, version of her. Because that's specifically the movie that I was obsessed with. I have read the book, but the movie I watched it so many times. My second webkins that I'm talking about is my splash dragon who i have named liara and i named her after liara tassoni from the mass effect series specifically because of the color of all the webkins uh the plushes in existence i think this one is like the perfect color for an osari um it not that liara's color is exactly like this blue green but it just very much reminds me of one and it's really just the color. I don't really think of necessarily like a sea dragon when I think of Liara. I actually had to save up Amazon gift cards from like survey sites and stuff to be able to get her because at the time I think she was like 60 to 80 dollars like she was expensive so I had to save up for a while to get her and, the, and there's there they are expensive this is one of the ones that not very many people got or something so it became like hard to find and even now it's hard to find and last but not least is Vasilisa the Persian cat this one really doesn't make any sense to me in hindsight and I think I would have definitely named a different webkins this I named her Vasilisa after Vasilisa Dragomir from the Vampire Academy series which I have not read in a while, but I'm very, very obsessed with it. I really love that. It's my favorite vampire series ever. And at the time, I was when I got my Persian cat, I was very, very into it. And I think the reason that I named her Vasilisa is because I was thinking, like, she, the character, um, is just so pale and she um, has very blonde skin. So, like, I'm like, oh, that's kind of like a white cat, I guess, because she's just very pale. I think if I were to name a Webkins nowadays after Vasilisa, it would definitely be a dragon. I don't know which one, because uh, a lot of the dragons are kind of chunky and Vasilisa was very, like, thin and tall and pale and the dragons don't really fit so well. Maybe I would have named this after her. I don't know. <laughs> More of a dragon because the last name is Dragomir, which is like the dragon was like, you know, their, I guess, I don't know, symbol or whatever. It's been a while since I've read Vampire Academy, but I know Dragomir specifically came from dragon. This would not have been my first choice at all, but it was back when I was first starting out. This was probably one of the first like 30 that I got and I don't even think when I got her that they had any dragons yet, so that was not even a thought in my mind. It is a really pretty name though, and like Persian cats, like, you know, you usually think of them more like in a higher class setting, I guess, you know, people who have money, people who who can take care of them better, because my gosh, that long hair, like you've gotta have time for that, you know, to keep them nice and white and everything. But I guess in a, in a sense it does kind of fit, but I don't necessarily think of her as a cat, but you know, um, it's a pretty name without necessarily like the backstory of like who she was named after it is a very pretty name and it fits very well well that was a kind of a short and sweet one this time I'm sorry that wasn't as interesting as the first one but I do still want to make more of these so please let me know if you're enjoying these I have over 200 webkins I'm pretty sure not all of their names have an interesting story but a lot of them do if you have not seen the first episode yet make sure and go check that out because actually those three are a lot crazier at least one of them is a lot crazier than this one this one was actually kind of tame now that I think about it I just kind of picked these at random and now that I'm sitting down and like talking about it, I'm like, oh, 
that's not as wild as I thought it would be. If you like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. And if you're a Webkins collector and you're not yet subscribed to me, please consider subscribing because I would love to get in touch with more current Webkins collectors because a lot of them that I used to talk to and used to be subscribed to before I kind of went missing in action, they're not around anymore. They grew up and they're just not into Webkins anymore, which is absolutely totally fine, totally normal. But I need to find my Webkins people. I know they exist because I know they're on Facebook, but... <laughs> I don't know about YouTube anymore. Okay, that's all. Goodbye, everybody. I still don't know how to end videos. If you have any suggestions like how to make a video end without being awkward, I would appreciate it.